Announcer Bunny here to show you what's coming up next on Between the Lions. Woke up this morning, went to my favorite coffee bar. Coffee bar, coffee bar. But I found that bar was bare. This time that silent E has gone too far. If you think that was fun, watch this. Between the Lions is funded in part by... A Ready to Learn grant... From the U.S. Department of Education. And by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. I love how you said that, Cleo. We do have additional funding to talk about. Oh, right. Of course. Ahem. Additional support is provided by the Park Foundation. Dedicated to education and quality television. And the Civil Society Institute. You know, Theo, I never get tired of telling people about our funders. Me either. I could do it at least once every day. <laughs> we do. Oh, yeah. Right. We do. Hey, now. Oh, sweetie. Uh, yeah. Uh, Daddy, how come I could never sneak up on you? Oh, one day you'll be able to sneak up on me, Leona. Just keep practicing. Anyway, you're just in time for a story. Oh. <gasps> what story? What story? Oh, don't know, Lionel. Your mother's still out hunting. There you are, Cleo, my love. What delicious morsel have you got today? Ah, a brand new version of an old Greek myth. Mm, let's see here. <sighs> Yummy! Ooh, a classic scent. <laughs> makes me hungry. <laughs> Everything makes you hungry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, smell that ancient Greece. Mm. Oh, gods and goddesses, right? Very good, Leona. There is a goddess in this one. The story is called Pygmalion, and it's retold by Rudyard H. Lugnut I, an authentic-sounding fictional author. I'm ready to read. <laughs> Pygmalion. In ancient Greece, there lived a great sculptor named Pygmalion, who made statues out of stone. One day, he decided to carve a statue of a woman. It would be his masterpiece. So he gave his sleeves a tug, <laughs> gave his shoulders a shrug, <clears throat> picked up his favorite mug, <laughs> and took a slug. Glug, glug, glug. Then he got to work. Stop until he was done. When he was finished, he looked at his statue. He thought she was beautiful. 
the most beautiful work he had ever done. He fell in love with her. I'm in love. He gave her a hug. 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 But alas, she could not hug him back. Pygmalion was very unhappy. I feel so unhugged. The guy hugs a statue, and he wants a statue to hug him back. That's dumb. Hey. What? There is nothing dumb about it. There, there isn't? isn't? No! That statue is made of the finest marble, delicately carved and polished, and hugging it is not dumb! Desperate, perhaps, but not dumb. Oh! Hmm. Huh. He's a grown-up, and he's playing with a big doll! <laughs> so? What? Yo, Mommy, Mommy, hmm? Mommy, could we bring, um, pig, uh... Pigmon. Pigmalion. Pig yeah. Could we bring him into the library, please? <laughs> what for? So I could teach him how to pretend his statue is hugging him back. That's why. Yeah. Interesting idea. What? Click! <laughs> Click. Would you please drag and drop Pigmalion and his statue into the library? Your wish is your command. Executing drag. Executing drop. Oh, oh, stop, oh, stop, oh, drop! Stop! Oh, drop! Oh, I mean, I mean, float them down gently and land them softly, please. Next time, please be more precise in your commands. Uh, how did I get here? I, uh, trust me, you won't understand, but. I can help you with your problem. Problem? The hug thing. You can? Yeah. How? Well, you just come with me, okay? Just come oh, over okay. here. Oh, and bring your statue. <laughs> Maybe I should try carving soap. <laughs> oh, careful. Whoa. <laughs> Maybe he should try acting like a grown-up. <laughs> Mug. Ugh. And now, lovers of the vowels A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y, Martha Reader and the Vowels sing their number one hit word, Rug! Time for... Gwen's word! Gwen's word! <laughs> Excellent! Gwen here once again at Blending Fields, where two brave knights in armor will charge together at high speed and make a word. Competing today, we have Sir... <laughs> and on your right, Sir... Ugg! Uh. <laughs> Blend on, dudes! Ugg! Uh. Ugg! Uh. 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 Oh, excellent! That's Gawain's word for today. And this is Gawain saying, see you next time on Gawain's Word! Gawain's Word! J. J. Ug. Ug. Oh, oh. J, ug, go. Juggle. 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 <laughs> Juggle. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Juggle. <laughs> 
Juggle! Jug! Ug! M mug! Ma? Ma? And now, fun with Chicken Jane. Today, Chicken Jane and the Big Flying Duck. Look, look, see, see, coming down the lane. Here comes Scott, here comes Dot, here comes Chicken Jane. Look, Dot, look. See the mucky mud puddle. Yes, Scott, yes. See the mucky mud puddle. Look, Scott, look. See the big flying duck. See Chicken Jane right. D U C K. D U C K. D U C K. See the word duck. Duck, Scott, duck. Look, Dot, look. See Chicken Jane. She is mucky and muddy. We are not mucky and muddy. Thank you, Chicken Jane. Look, look, see, see, going up the lane. There goes Scott, there goes Dot, there goes Chicken Jane. A word from New Jersey Net superstar, Stefan Marbury. Dunk. Uh. Yeah. <sighs> ah! You see, you just do with your statue what I do with my doll, Lovey. Okay, now, now just watch, watch. Okay. Oh, Lovey. I love you, and you love me. Let's hug. See? See? I'm pretending that she's hugging me, and it works. Oh, huh? oh uh, I don't know. Oh, this... try it. Just try it. You see, all you have to do is believe. Believe? Yes. Okay. Yes. <coughs> yes. Believe. Yes. I love you, and you love me, so let's hug. I believe. Oh. I believe. Uh, uh, I, I believe. I don't believe and my head hurts. Maybe this is just too, too, too hard for a beginner, so let's start with something easier, okay? Um, uh, uh, oh, I know. You write her a poem, you see, and read it to her. A poem? Yes. Okay, uh, poem. Yeah. Yeah, you get yeah, okay. Go ahead. <clears throat> Come on. She can't hear me read a poem. <sighs> but you can pretend that she hears you. Oh, statues are very good listeners. Okay, I'll try. Face, lake, love, hug. Oh, girl, the way that it feels when I kiss your face is the satin cool of a moonlit lake. In other words, she feels cold. Shield of love, that's the way that it feels to run and give you a hug. In other words, she's real hard. In other words, in other words. Well, girl, I know you so well that we got no need to talk. Which is a really good thing, cause she's made out of rock. And we don't have to do nothing, 
Thanks. Did, did, did you believe that she listened to you? Oh, yes, I believed. <laughs> I believed. <laughs> well, then, you are ready to hug and believe that you are being hugged back. Go ahead. Hug. Hug. I, I feel it. I feel the hug. It's almost like she's really hugging me back. Yay! Okay, now you can go home and really be happy. Yes, oh, how can I ever thank oh, you? Oh, you, you, you could stop crushing me. Oh, right. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay, it's okay. Well, come on. Let's go send you back into your book, okay? Right. Bring your statue. Yeah. Uh, maybe... I can pretend you're light as a feather. Huh? Oh, ah. Maybe a really big feather. Oh. And now, once again, it's time for the adventures of Sam Spud, parboiled potato detective. The name is Spud, Sam Spud. I was working late one night. The neon sign outside my window was blinking on, off, on, off. It was about to drive me crazy when there was a knock at my door. Knock? That's not right. K-N-U-C-K? That shouldn't be a U. That should be an O. K-N-O-C-K. Knock. When there was a knock at my door. Come in. She had stems that went from here to there and kept on growing. She looked like a real tomato. As a matter of fact, she was a real tomato. She planted herself in front of my desk. I felt like she was someone who could grow on me. As a matter of fact... Mom! There's a talking potato with a hat on and no mouth! Don't worry, sweetie. It's educational television. It's good for you. A bunny. Yeah. And his beautiful assistant, the remarkable Smarmy Marmy Smart Titty! Oh, gone! <laughs> and now I, the great Smartini, will do my amazing trouser defying! Oh, hey. Marmy, may I have two words that have the short U ah uh, sound in them, please? Hey, sunny boy, great Smartini! The words, muddy, muddy. and bunny. Oh, thank like you, Marty. I will now put these words into my smarty pants. And now, I will say a magic word, do a magic dance. Yes, I'll do a magic dance in my magic smarty pants. Abracadabra! Dance and smarty pants, ooh, ah. Let's see what we got, huh? Uh, a muddy bunny! Bunny. Bun. But. Cut. Cube. It's a plan, it's a plane, it's Silent E-Man! These vowels have a problem, and Silent E's to blame. Instead of a a a a a he makes them say their name. He's changed the sounds to A and E and I and O and U. With pals like that, just think about what damage he can do. Silent E, he changed his cub into a cube. Silent E, he changed his tub into a tube. He changed his twin to twine, he changed his can into a cane. And this great man must stop him before he strikes again. Silent E, your vowel sound changing days are over. I'm carting you off to the slammer. But of course, you have the right to remain silent. Look, a note from Silent E, it says. I know that cap you're wearing. 
I'd love to have a closer look. Gee, thanks so much for sharing. Well, sure. Oh, I don't see any harm in that. Okay, girls, mm -hmm. now remember, we're singing about trouble with Silent E, and you gotta feel it. Do you feel it? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we're God. feeling it, baby. Some righteous, mm. we're ready. <clears throat> baby the King of Beasts, Silent E Blues, take one. Drop Pygmalion and his statue back into the book, please. Executing drag and drop. Oh, softly. Softly. Mm. Bye. 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 Goodbye, Pig uh, Pigman. Uh, Pigman. 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 Oh, oh, Daddy, Daddy, read the rest of the story so we can see how I made his life perfect. Oh, okay. <clears throat> hug, hug, hug. Pygmalion pretended that the statue was real and that she gave him a hug. <laughs> that made him very happy. I feel so hugged. Oh, I am very happy. <laughs> Before long, pretending was not enough for him, and once again, he was sad. The end! Oh. And the moral of the story is, grown-ups shouldn't play with dolls. Ha! Uh, well, Lionel, <laughs> it, it's not the end of the story. It isn't? Nope. Ha! Go ahead, Dad. <laughs> He was so much in love with the statue that Aphrodite, the goddess of love, took pity on him and brought the statue to life. Pygmalion? Yes. You, you're alive! Give me a hug, you big lug. Pygmalion was so happy, he gave his statue a big hug. And his statue hugged him back. For real! 
Hug. 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 Oh, that was the best story about hugs in ancient Greece with a statue that I ever heard. <laughs> yeah, well, at least you wasn't playing with a silly doll at the end. <laughs> I know. Dolls are not silly. Leona, don't you wish your doll was alive so you wouldn't have to pretend? Well, no, cause, cause, cause that would ruin make-believe. And besides, if Lovey were alive, I couldn't do this. I can't think of anything sillier than playing with dolls. <laughs> the name was Spud. Sham Spud. Parboiled potato detective. Suddenly, there was a knock at the door. Knock at the door? That's not right. <laughs> Should be knock. <sighs> See? I told you hugging a statue wasn't dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Walter, hmm? I think Buster's trying to tell us he needs a... Uh... A hug? Yeah, a hug! Oh, come here. What, oh. what, stop, hey, what are you doing? Hug, hug, Cut hug. No, 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 hug, 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 Games and stories at the Between the Lions website, pbskids.org, or America Online. Keyword, PBS Kids. Reading to children every day creates warm family memories, and it helps them become better readers. Help a child get wild about reading. Be a designated reader. I'm Ooh. ready to get wild. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Once upon a time. Between the Lions is funded in part by... A Ready to Learn grant... ...from the U.S. Department of Education. And by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. I love how you said that, Cleo. We do have additional funding to talk about. Oh, right. Of course. Ahem. Additional support is provided by... The Park Foundation. Dedicated to education and quality television and the Civil Society Institute. You know, Theo, I never get tired of telling people about our funders. Me either. I could do it at least once every day. <laughs> we do. Oh, yeah. Shop online for the best of public television and radio. Shop WGBH. Go to shop.wgbh.org. Every purchase directly supports your favorite shows on WGBH, and members always get a 15% discount.